This equation looks really complicated to solve, but in fact, it's a lot easier than it looks. So this question is clearly about indices to begin with, and we can see lots of powers of three and five around, but we've also got this 75 and 225 that we need to think about. And once we've rewritten those, the problem becomes a lot easier. So firstly, we've got 75. 75 is three times 25, or three times five squared. So let's replace that in the problem. Now we can do the same thing for 225, which is nine times 25, or three squared times five squared. So let's replace that as well. So now we see that everything on the left-hand side is either a power of three or five, and that's gonna be really helpful. Next, we can focus on this term again, and write three times five squared to the three n, as three to the three n times five to the six n using the rules of indices. So we can replace that one as well. And we can just multiply out the brackets in two one minus three n here to get two minus six n as well. So let's replace that. And whilst we're there, let's split up that power and write it as five to the two times five to the minus six n. And now if you look at this carefully, you might notice that this question has been very carefully designed because we can cancel out some of the powers of five. In fact, all of the powers of five, got five squared here, top and bottom. So divide top and bottom of the fraction by five squared and they cancel out. And I've also got five to the six n times five to the minus six n. And again, they cancel each other out. Because remember, five to the minus six n is the same thing as one over five to the six n. So if I multiply that by five to the six n, I will just get one. So they cancel in our fraction here. So we can write this without all of those fives and now it looks a lot friendlier. We've just got powers of three on the left hand side. Now if we use our negative indices again we can say that one over three squared is three to the minus two so we can take this three to the two and put it on the top of the fraction as three to the minus two which leaves us with this equation. So we can use the addition rule for indices and add together all of these powers which gives us the equation three to the n squared plus three n minus four equals one. But of course any number raised to the power of zero apart from zero is one, so we can write the one as three to the power of zero. So let's replace that as well. So now I have three to the power of something equals three to the power of something else, and the only way for that to be true is for those two things to be equal. So we can get rid of the three to the power ofs now, and this whole question then boils down to solving this quadratic equation. So you can choose your favorite method for solving the quadratic here. I'm gonna factorize as n plus four times n minus one. And so that gives us the final answer that n is either minus four or plus one. And that's it. And if you enjoyed this problem, I think you'll really like my free math challenge courses link below or check out this previous YouTube video with another similar challenging math problem that you can do right here.